Hello stampers! We're going to do a card with a sponging starburst technique. Uh, I've got a few videos with different techniques uh, for the starbursts and uh, it's something that was requested at club and I was trying to come up with different ways of, of doing it. Um, so this is one that I'm doing using a template. So here's the card and we're, the technique that we're going to do is the starburst in the background here. Pretty basic card overall, it's just the technique I think that makes it really pop and those lovely rhinestones but anyway <laughs> let's get to the card so here's the card base tempting turquoise basic card size five and a half by four and a quarter so it's a sheet of eight and a half by eleven cut in half and you get two cards out of it so there's your card base there um, and then what we're going to do is the starburst on the card so I'm going to show you the template right away other than that the card is pretty simple to put together so for a template I just cut a card front size so just the one piece you get four out of a sheet and again five and a half by four and a quarter and it can be any color this one is our, our crumb cake color but it doesn't have to be any particular color you're also going to need a circle and this is the smallest circle punch that I have which is one inch so I punched out a circle out of our crumb cake as well and I'm going to need a ruler and a pen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go corner to corner on this sheet with our ruler and pen. And we're just going to draw a line from corner to corner. And then we're going to find our center or where we want our center. For this particular card, I chose the middle when I did this template. And I think for this one, just to make it a little different, I'm going to go off to the side a little bit. So I'm going to go up. I tend to like to have my focal point here in my little greeting on the bottom. I don't usually do it the other the other way around. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to take my one inch circle and I'm just going to trace. And that's what I mean by it's scrap is that once you've traced it we're pretty much done. But that gives you your center for your template. Now what you're going to do is you are going to keep drawing lines through your circle. So I've made an X here roughly in the center and I'm just going to keep going drawing lines all the way through I want the sections pretty small um, I don't want them too large and I think I might do some a little smaller than I did on the original card that's there just to give us more bursts there I think that'll work so there we have it there are our star bursts so we're done with our ruler. Next, what you're going to need is your paper snips. And what you're going to do is you're just going to cut out a section. So you're going to follow the line all the way up, but you're not going to go right to the middle. You're going to go to the edge of the circle that you traced here. This is going to be your, your anchor point, I guess is the best word to, to use, so that you'll, um, if you cut right through, obviously, you'd, uh, <laughs> you'd lose all your sections. So you have to stop somewhere before you get to the middle. So that circle makes a good anchor point. So I've cut both of my edges. And when I come to the middle, I'm just going to cut around just like that circle. And then a whole section just came out. I'm going to skip a section and I'm going to do another one. I'm going to keep going here. Straight up. Straight up. And then around the circle. Okay, so every second section is what you're going to take out. And I'm not going to do all the cutting here. I'm going to show you the template I used for the original piece, which is this right here. So you can see that I used my circle for my center and I did put it in the middle of the card. Again, it's a standard five and a half by a quarter. I put my circle in, drew all of my lines a little bigger than I did on this template, and then I cut out every second section from the template. Okay, so you can do what you like there and pause the video and get all of your sections cut out. Then I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight and this is a little smaller than our, my card front so it's five and a quarter by four. I'm going to put my template down over top and then I'm going to get my Daffodil Delight. I use the same color as the card stock. I'm going to get ink in the sponge and sponge this puppy up. You do have to have nimble fingers for this one because you want to be holding your cardstock as you're punching. You don't want any pieces to move while you're putting the ink on. I'm just going to turn this around a little bit. It did move a little bit, but I am just going to put my template right back on. It happened the first time I did it too, but I was able to put it back on. I didn't have any problems. 
with any bleeding or anything. So I'm using the same color ink as the cardstock for my card front. And I'm using the Stampin' Sponges. And I love these big round sponges because I get them and then I cut them into wedges. So that, my gosh, I can't remember, I think I get eight or twelve little wedge pieces for ink, for, for stamping. I'm just using a little bit of the wedge of the sponge. And then I use the Daffodil Delight cardstock on the top so that I know what sponge is what color. Oh, I'm going to put some more ink over here, I think. There. Okay, so we've got all of our ink on. And then when you take your template off, you end up with your starburst. Pretty cool, huh? And you've got your middle. And again, I mean, whether it's, you know, really clear at the middle or whether there's not enough ink there, hopefully the whole point is that you're going to put a greeting there anyhow. So that'll cover that up as well. So this is pretty much done. Other than this, the card is very simple to put together. I'm just going to put some nail on the back of that piece. Adhere that to the front of our card. And then what I've done is I've used the Just Saiyan stamp set and the framelits that go with it, the Word Bubbles framelits, for the front of the card. And I've used the Hay there in Melon Mambo, cut it out on the big shot, and then I put it on a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock. I just freehanded to get the lip around. Um, no... Uh, no special doodad there. I did put some Stampin' Dimensionals underneath the white, just to kind of pop it off the, the Melon Mambo piece of cardstock. And then the rhinestones. And what I did for the rhinestones, I used every size we've got. I'm so sad that these are retiring. I love these jumbo rhinestones and pearls as well. But we shall make do with what we've got, right? And I'm just scattering these guys around. So those are the large. And then I'm going to use the variety of rhinestones from the multi-pack. No rhyme or reason whatsoever. Just having fun. And then I'm going to use the teeny tiny guys. There. And then we've got our finished card with our Starburst template. And what I did with this guy was I used the hay there from the, the stamp set, the Just Saiyan stamp set. Um, and then on the inside, I colored one with a marker. So I didn't use the outside of it. I believe I put, what was the one? You're the best. It was this guy here, the cloud. So I didn't do the cloud. I just did the marker with the melon mambo and did the greeting. It ended up a little crooked, but thankfully it's just a sample. So same stamp set on the inside and on the outside. And there's the starburst technique with our template. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share. I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, hopefully that you'll be able to make some great cards with the Starburst template. You can use this over and over and over again. Happy stamping!